Hey guys, Fire here from In-Depth Gaming, bringing you another early gameplay preview. This time we're checking out Middleborg City of Mages. This game was developed by Armature Games and published by Samu Stai and releases on April 2nd, 2021. We don't quite have a price yet for the game, but we just want to showcase a little bit of the gameplay off. It does have a little bit of a far out release date, but hey, gives us a little more time to work on the game and give you guys a better opinion. Uh, but we did want to dive into the game and showcase a little bit of it off here on the channel. If you guys do have any questions, want to see more about the game, as always, let us know down in the comments. Um, outside of that, I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. Um, I'll stay on to talk a little bit and we can, I'll kind of commentate a smidge. We don't commentate too much on them. But nonetheless, let's uh, let's check the game out. Sire. Oh, okay, so it looks like a portal opens and we're attacked, so that's not good. The Tempest is coming. Okay, what does this tree want us to do? Raid. Send mages to the garrison. So the garrison should be this front wall here. Okay, so it looks like we have one of one mages and we can use our right trigger to move them around and protect things. Awesome. Alright, let's see if they can protect us for another day. Hey, they stopped 7 of the 26 damage. So we still got hurt, we still are horrible, but hey, we protected something. Let's see, it wants us to go visit the Chancellor again. Send mages to the Tower of Light. Let's see, Tower of Light, what does this do? So, oh, so we have to send him back to send him over. 5 damage during the Tempest. Oh, okay, Tower of Light protects the Tree of Order from magical damage. Okay, so... Physical, magical, it looks like. And this little icon of the little changes. Okay, so it looks like we need to basically micromanage our team based on the attacks that are coming. Build the order. Click on this. Build. I assume we can upgrade. So, oh, it can predict what's coming. So, the $8. Okay. So, it looks like there might be more than one sequence in the day. So. Red's gonna be first, so let's send that sky to the red one, and then we'll protect it a little bit. Boom, we did that. Okay. And then let's send this guy to the blue one now, since the next one is the blue. By this little indicator here on the bottom. Awesome, that's pretty cool. So it looks like we just micromanage our resources to survive the nights. It's kind of like a survival sandbox world. Five damage during the Tempest. We'll grant ten either for each day of the Tempest. Okay. So let's keep him in the red since we don't know what it is. Hey, that was it. Oh, wait, I was going to say not. Okay, let's not screw that up again. Now he's in blue for the next round. Oh, troubles at the border. Several hundreds of cave people are moving out to Storm Middleware with some sort of artifacts. Oh, so we get to decide. So let's see if we get some decision making. I wonder how much these will impact our game. Call them to order, destroy them, bring them to a fair fight, steal the artifact. Let's call them to order. Let's try not to be too mean. Wow, they're a bunch of jerks. Okay. Okay, so it looks like little like micro stories can happen throughout the game. That's pretty neat. Oh, wait, what's this cloud thing? Here's a new thing. Send mages to the wind catcher. Okay, so I guess you need to micromanage three areas now. That looks like our little either money balance is starting to go up. Oh, we made money. We didn't lose anything. That's kind of cool. So next day is up. Send this guy over to the blue one to defend that because that's what shows up first on the thing. Looks like our health points are going down, but it's because we're being attacked. I'm 
gonna send this guy to the red one just in case. Because we don't know what it is. Oh, okay. Looks like we're being a, another random little quest adventure. Um, let's arrange an ambush. We caught him off guard, off him, and then I was being distracted. Okay, okay. I'm not diving too much into this because obviously when I review the game I'm going to pay a lot more attention. I just want to showcase a little bit of the game, so if you do want to read kind of what pops up, feel free to do that yourself. Um, overall the controls seem very fluid so far. I think I can s predict what's coming, so we'll send this guy over to the, the right side up here, and we'll go to the next fight. Damage. Our health points are getting worse and worse though. Oh, okay, looks like we can deposit 30 into defensive buildings to repair them. We have 71, so we click on the garrison. Oh, this little deposit wheel. Heal guards. Repair bar Oh, okay, look, we can spend money into things. That's kind of cool. Let's send some in both sides. I wonder if that helps improve our defenses. Oh, we should have went to the that's unfortunate. Um, let's move something. Increase by 10%. Ooh, that's pretty good for us. We'll see if we have some more things that aren't so good for us, maybe. Maybe I'm making more choices. Who knows? This is why we play games. Um, okay, let's see what else is doing now. Any form, collect 70 either. Can we get 70? Oh, I can send them mid there. That's okay. 19. Oh, we're being attacked. I didn't send them over. No. Ah. Uh, looks like our tree died. Alright, guys. Well, I need to learn to be a lot better at micromanaging, but this was a little bit of an early gameplay preview for uh, Middle Borg City of Mages. If you guys want to see more gameplay prior to release, since this one's got a little over a month till it comes out. Uh, let us know, we can upload another gameplay and showcase some later uh, stages in the game. Outside of that, as always, I hope you guys have a great day. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments, and we'll catch you guys next time.